This week is National Nurses Week, and here at CBS2, we want to honor all the nurses who have made a difference during the pandemic. CBS2's Kieran Dillon shows us how this coronavirus crisis has changed the lives of home care nurses and the patients they serve. Hello. Hi. It's Mike, the nurse. Hi, Mike. For many home care nurses around New York City, like 26-year-old Michael Guglielmelli, protocol has changed since the pandemic began. We are using, you know, fullest, fullest extent of uh, personal protective equipment that is with gowns, masks, goggles, and gloves. But it isn't just the gear and equipment that's changed. Guglielmelli, a registered nurse in Staten Island with the Visiting Nurse Service of New York, says it's the emotional toll that has been the hardest for nurses and patients alike. Patients are a little bit more fearful than they were before this. Fearful because patients without COVID-19 are now worried nurses could bring the virus into their homes. And others like Alma Santos Yatko, who is home recovering from COVID-19 after spending nearly a month in the hospital, are worried they could pass it on to their home care workers. Santos Yatko, a two-time cancer survivor, is also a nurse. It is a fear of the unknown. It's being a nurse, like you know a lot, you are sometimes advanced. But I said I have to put that on the side. Santos Yatko says the key to conquering the fear has been precaution and education. She's more grateful than ever to have a nurse taking care of her at home. Excellent. Mm -hmm. 112 over 80. Even though you're a nurse, like I could take my blood pressure, but having someone to, to like another colleague or, or, or a nurse from BNS really help us a lot. It's just like the support that they could give you. 97.7, beautiful, just where we want it. Many home care nurses have had to keep their distance from their own families as a result of being in direct contact with the virus. But they say there really is no alternative. Who would be taking care of these patients when um, when they come home? And the biggest challenge is you are in their environment now. So you have to adjust as a clinician, as a human, to their environment, their activities of daily living, and really work around making them independent and educating them. During this National Nurses Month, they are extremely proud of the profession they chose and of their colleagues. You know, to every healthcare worker out there, I think that we're doing the best that we can. Um, my heart is with everyone, and we will get through this. Thank you very much. All right, guys, take care. They say it is a difficult job, but not one they'd ever consider giving up. In Staten Island, Kieran Dillon, CBS2 News. Healthcare heroes. With certain protective gear difficult to